Chess friends, Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist, widely acknowledged to be one of the greatest and most influential physicists of all time. Einstein is best known for developing the theory of relativity, but he also made important contributions to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics. His IQ was 164, around 2,900 ELO ratings performance of chess. But computer intelligence is far away from that, I can analyze millions of moves in a second. I developed Einstein bot, I played against his. Game was very interesting, and if you want more contents like this, then you can comment me. I started with d4. Einstein said e is equal to mc square, he played knight f6, I defense with c4, he open with e6, in this position, you can play knight c3, and you have knight f3, but I chooses to play g3, funetto variation, more likely to king's Indian defense, I want my bishop on this line. Einstein played c5, I pushed the d-pawn, e captured d5, c captured d5, he pushed the pawn, bishop goes to g2, he develops his pawn on queen's side, b5, knight comes to f3, knight develops on d7. In this position, you can develop your bishop on this line, or g6, g7 line, I played my best move castle. And if you don't know about your best move, then you can subscribe my channel to get more interesting contents from us, subscribe the channel which is best move for you. Einstein develops his bishop on e7, I played before, if you think c takes b4 is best move, let me show the variation, then knight comes on d4, targeting this, and threatening this, position will be bad for you. So, back to the position, we have bishop to b7, creating pressure on this pawn, I played b takes c5 first, knight captures on c5, knight comes to d4. In this position, Einstein played a wrong move, knight takes d5, best move was to play queen up to d7. The reason why I said knight takes d5 was bad move because of bishop takes knight, then bishop takes bishop, then comes knight f5, queen is targeting the bishop, and knight is targeting the pawn, which is why you will lose castle ability, we have bishop back to b7, knight captures on g7 check, you can't move your king on f8, let me show the variation, if king f8 happen, then the killer move comes bishop to h7, king g8, knight back to f5, as a defensive major black will play bishop f8. But it's already too late, queen up to d4, if bishop takes bishop happen then, knight takes bishop check, king slides, queen takes rook, black will lose the game, because his king is not safe at all. Einstein bot, you can call it a part of Einstein's soul, he knows it, so, he played king d7, we have knight f5, queen up to c7, knight captures on e7, king takes e7. I mean, Einstein in a big danger, his king is exposed, simple develop your pieces, bishop here to target this weak pawn, if it gets successful then position will be close for white, knight will target this, then rook to c1. I played according to my plan, knight c3, he played queen b6. Threatening mate in one. So, I played e4, you can't capture the pawn with your knight, you know, you will lose your knight, queen can't take the knight, because of rook e1, you will lose your queen too. So, we have rook a to e8, bishop goes to f4, rook g8 by Einstein, rook comes on c1, queen back to d7, knight takes b5, you can't take the knight, let me show the variation, if takes, then queen takes d6 will be mate. So, back to the position, we have rook up to g6, try to protect that pawn, I played bishop takes pawn anyway, rook takes bishop, I played queen takes bishop, queen takes queen, knight takes d6, then king takes d6, well, black have bishop and knight and rook for white's two rooks, so, let me kill one of his piece, rook d1 check, king slides on c6, rook up to d5, you can't save you knight, we have king b6, rook takes knight, bishop takes pawn, rook here, a5 by Einstein. Rook e3.
Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.